subscribe to our channel for latest video series on gain UGC net and more. Also press the bell icon so that you never miss an update on any latest video. For more information you can visit our website or call on the numbers below. Hello people, so today we are going to look at some uh, equivalence of basic signals in discrete time. So we have already looked at unit step, unit ram, impulse signals in uh, continuous time domain. So we are just going to look at their equivalence in discrete time domain. Okay. So first signal that we are going to look at is unit step. Since we have already looked at that, uh, them very uh, carefully very nicely in continuous time domain so we are just going to learn them by analogy here. So this is how unit step signal uh, looks like in continuous time domain ok. It is having value 1 for all t values greater than 0 and for all the t values less than 0 its value is 0. Now when we are converting the signal into discrete time domain that is when we are sampling the signal. See we have already learned that we are obtaining a discrete time signal by sampling uniform sampling its continuous time equivalent. So this is the continuous time equivalent. Now I am sampling the signal with the sampling interval of 1 unit. Okay, 1 unit means I am going to take its sample at each each 1 unit of time. Then I am going to obtain something like this. Right, this something like this. So, this is my discrete time unit step signal UN. Now, if I need to define UN, what can I say? UN is going to be 1 for all values of N greater than or equal to 0 and UN is going to be 0 for all N values less than 0. So, this is how you are going to obtain this unit step signal from continuous unit step. Okay. So, this is how you are going to represent this unit step signal in discrete time domain. Uh, so, next we are going to look at unit ramp. Now, in continuous time domain, we have seen that this is how unit ramp looks like, right? This its value is going to be t for all, okay. I'm just defining this in continuous time also. We defined rt as t for all t greater than equal to 0 and 0 for time less than 0. This is how we are defining a ramp signal. Now if I just take its samples, if I just perform uniform sampling to obtain its equivalent, equivalent discrete time signal, see its sample at 0 is going to have value 0 only. So this signal actually starts from n is equal to 1, okay. It does not start with n is equal to 0. At n is equal to 1, it is going to have value 1 and it increases accordingly. So how can I define this signal? This R of n is having value n for n greater than 0. See, uh, okay, you can just put a equal to also here, it does not matter because for n is equal to 0, this signal is having a sample as 0 only and 0 otherwise, otherwise means for all n values less than 0. So this is how we are obtaining a unit ramp signal, okay, unit ramp signal in discrete time domain. See, uh, we have obtained the signal by uniform sampling this signal. Now the next signal, next commonly used signal that we are going to look at is unit impulse, unit impulse. So, in a continuous time domain, we have already seen that this is how unit impulse signal is uh, going to look like. At t is equal to 0, it is having a value of infinity and at all the other t values, this function does not exist. Now, see, we have already discussed that this is not a normal signal, not a general signal, this is a special signal. So, to obtain its discrete time equivalent, we cannot perform sampling, okay. You cannot obtain the discrete time equivalent by sampling. So, we are defining it, we are defining it independently. 
independently and how del n is going to have value 1 for n is equal to 0 and 0 for all other n values ok we are defining it independently because you cannot sample this signal to obtain this sampling of this signal is not possible this is a special signal. So this is how you are defining unit impulse signal in discrete time domain. Now see all these signals ramp step and impulse we have already discussed this they can be expressed as derivative and integrals of each other which means that step signal can be expressed as integral of unit impulse or derivative of unit ramp. Similarly unit ramp can be expressed as integral of unit step function or unit impulse can be expressed as derivative of unit step or double derivative of unit ramp. Okay. So, in uh, discrete time domain also so okay, integral is replaced by summation and differentiation is replaced by difference. So, we can express these signals as difference or summation of each other. So, now we are going to look at uh, how we are expressing signals as derivatives or integrals or summation or differentiation of each other. Ok, so uh, as we saw in continuous time signals that any signals which is uh, consisting of steps only can be described as sum of shifted step signals. In a similar manner any discrete time signal, see all the discrete time signals are going to look in this way only ok. They are go only going to have samples at discrete n values. So all the signals are going to look like this only. So any discrete time signals we have already discussed this can be expressed either as sum of shifted impulse signals which is uh, actually just taking writing the sample values and the points at which they occur or they can be expressed as sum of shifted step signals where coefficient of the step signal signifies change in value ok it, it has to be change in value not the value of the sample it has to be change in value change in step. Uh, so, we have taken this example, I am going to express this signal as sum of shifted step signals also and sum of shifted impulse signals also for more clarity. See uh, the signal starts from minus 2, so the change in step at minus 2 is going to be 4, 4, 4 into u of n minus minus 2 since the change occurred at minus 2. Now the next change occurs at n is equal to minus 1 and of what amount? Previously we had a step of 4, now we got a step of minus 2 which means a change of minus 6, a step jump of or downfall of minus 6. So I am going to write minus 6 into u of n minus minus 1, fine. Now we, we have a change of my from minus 2 we are going to 3 which makes it a change of 5 to from jump to jump from minus 2 to 3 you have to have a jump of plus 5 step of plus 5. So, I am going to write plus 5 u of n because this change occurred at 0. Next change occurred at 1 step of minus 4 u of n minus 1. Next plus 6 u of n minus 2 and at the end we are going to have minus 5 u of n minus 3. Ok, so this is how you can represent any signal Fn with respect to with help of shifted step signal. Now if you remember we uh, had a concept that if you just add the coefficients of shifted step signals it is going to be 0 if the signal is of finite duration. The same concept follows here also ok. If you just add these coefficients you just add 4 minus 6 minus 2 plus 5 3 minus 4 minus 1 plus 6 5 minus 5 0 right. So what happens is if sum of coefficients, if sum of coefficients of shifted step signals, shifted step signals is 0, 0, signal will have finite duration, signal is going to have finite duration, ok. And just in case the uh, sum is not 0, if the sum is not 0, then, then value of the signal, value of the signal till infinity is going to be equal to the sum, 
okay whatever sum you are obtaining if the uh, sum is not zero if the sum of coefficient does not come out to be zero then whatever sum you are getting the signal is going to continue with the same value till infinity okay so this is uh, an advantage if you are expressing a signal as shifted step signals just a slight precaution that you have to take is that the coefficient of this step signal represent the change in value change in step and not the value itself however if you represent this signal as sum of shifted impulse signals i can just take the value directly okay i can write 4 into del of n plus 2 minus 2 into del of n plus 1 plus 3 del n minus del of n minus 1 plus 5 of del n minus 2 okay i can just uh, multiply and write it directly fine so this is how we are expressing any discrete time signal as shifted step signals or shifted impulse signals okay